Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Imperator Rome. And when we last left off, we took this little uh, stretch of land, Messine, or Messine, and uh, let's take a look at the cities here. So we have 11 citizens and two freemen over there. We've got two citizens and five freemen there. And we picked up two citizens, four freemen, and a slave over there. So not too awful bad. I didn't see exactly what trade goods we may have picked up. Uh, so we have wine, olives, and fish. And I don't believe there's the fish, there's the olives, and now we have a surplus of wine in the capital. So that is, uh, let's see, army maintenance cost? Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know if uh, we were to trade that away. Uh, we do have wine in the capital surplus, reducing army maintenance costs, so we're not going to be giving away our excess wine or our iron. Manpower, though, uh, 20,000. We gain 63 each month. We might trade away the grain, but that's, uh, you know, that that's, uh, something that we can choose to do in the future. So, we have our troops heading back to, I believe, Sparta, uh, where we actually have good supply limit. We also have a new invention we can take. And we are on uh, tech level two. Now, interestingly enough, uh, so is Megapolis on two. Hiraya is on one. Most of our neighbors are on one, but the uh, the next, I guess, target in the war uh, here in Megapolis is on tech level two all over the place. They are currently at war with Mantia, which is their neighbor, and uh, Azania who is up north, interestingly enough, but and they have a CB on Haraya. So a third war might break out, so we may use that time to sneak in and just smack them. We almost have the oratory power there ready to fabricate the claim and get ready to go. Siege Engineers plus one. I think that would be a plus one to every single roll in the siege, which would be pretty, pretty good. Fort Defense, I don't think we're going to be invaded, so we might hold off on that. Military traditions cost. Uh, as far as our military traditions, we're paying 800. So if we were to get the invention to lower that by 10%, we save 80 and drop that down to 720 military power. We're not going to be getting into that anytime soon. Uh, culture and all those good things. Let's take a look at the citizens. So everyone is Peloponnesian and Hellenic. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, Peloponnesian and Hellenic. So we don't need um, outside culture happiness. Uh, Peloponnesian Hellenic on the citizens here, or the free men. Oh, but there's Hebrew and Jewish sit, uh, free men here. Uh, we can convert them. I think we have the surplus of religious power to do that. We're not going to spend oratory power to promote them or assimilate them. But 46% happiness is okay. It's uh, not not the greatest. We want that high as possible there. So we'll spend a little bit there. Let's take a look at our citizens here. Peloponnesian and Hellenic. We have Peloponnesian Hellenic. And then our slave is Peloponnesian Hellenic as well. So as far as the happiness of wrong culture, that would help 5% for the Hebrew culture of these up uh, where were they even or were they citizens no I lost them where in the world were those I tell you my short-term memory yeah Hebrew so the Hebrews would go up 5% because uh, they're a different culture um, once we have enough oratory power we may just convert them so it seems like a waste to focus on that holding a triumph uh, loyalty would be okay. Due process for ruler popularity, which would be extremely important in our current government type, as we are the Basilius, and popularity probably comes from, yeah, uh, positive stability and ruler popularity. If we can increase that, we can increase our legitimacy, making our family line more powerful. Uh, even though the pretenders, you know, two out of the three is our, our children, so... You know, it's not that bad as far as that's concerned. And then uh, sacrifice to the gods to boost our stability. Always good. And then the wrong culture group happiness. 
So we've got two there. I think what we'll do is sapping for siege engineers while we're on the move and doing uh, wartime fabrications and whatnot. That would be pretty important. We also have two scorned families, the Zagriad, who we, I think we pulled from Messina. We only have one of their family members in office. And as far as that goes, uh, the Taurus kids, no one is getting paid there. Although, we could do some things. This guy's a 9989. Very awesome. Uh, there is a 9 there on the zeal. Let's take a look at our characters here in our government and see if we can promote any of the... Uh, are they the Taurus kids? Yes, indeed. All right, let's take a look at the Taurus kids. See if a Taurus kid would be better. So there's a Leonidid, and you are a Parkalid. All right, so Parkalids, Parkalids, Parkalids. Let's see. I think they're getting more than the 2%. They won't be scorned if we replace this guy. So let's get a Taurus skid here as the Approximinos. That's the aggressive expansion change. We'll go 0.8. Uh, then we need another Taurus skid here. You are a tro uh, Parfalid. And the Zagrids? Yeah, they're scoring two, and one is a little bit better. 56 years old. Let's move you in there. So that's 16% sacrifice to the gods cost. All right. Um, Epistratagos. So we have a Parkalid and a Zagrid. Zagrids are still scorned. Let's see here. Um, yeah, we were getting... 2% of the state income, and it looks like that would be fine. Let's roll time just a little bit and see if that goes away. Yes, indeed. So families are no longer scorned. That is outstanding. We almost have enough points to... Let's open... No, cancel that. Let's just go open up all of our things. Open everything. So fabricating claims are 180 oratory power at 156. Should be a few months' time. Military access from Megalopolis. No, sorry, sir. You cannot disappear. All right, so all is well in good. Civic power. Do we promote some of our freemen here? Now, they're not that happy, but we can convert them for a little bit more happiness. Uh, how is our omen? If we're getting ready to take our omen, then we might hold off. We have 461, so we've got three years worth, uh, and we need to accumulate 200 omen power. Uh, our omens will be stronger if we can convert the Jewish to our religious group, so it may be better to convert those two there, see if we can get our omen power up just a little bit. 95.7, that's more taxes for us. We're losing half a ducat a month, even with all this stuff. Really, we would need more slaves. Uh, as far as our actual population goes, let's see if we can see our population here. Is our nation overview? We have 19 slaves, uh, 10 in Sparta, and some everywhere else. What I would like to do is Sparta is making grain, and every 13th slave will make an additional grain for more manpower and pop growth in, in that. So if we can move just three slaves to Sparta, we'll be making an additional grain. Once we have our claim fabricated, uh, then we can go ahead and do that. So 7,000 strong. It looks like you are getting ready to move. This should be a very quick war. Here we go, fabricating the claim on Achaea, which is right there in Megalopolis. And now we are ready to go to war uh, on the 12th of May. So just making sure that you don't have any alliances. You're not in a league. You are in war. You only have 7,000 total troops. And you're staying put. All right. So if we declared war, no one would join. We can bring in Epiduros, which he was a bro in the last war. We'll go ahead and call him in. There we go. War is on. Our Basilius will lead. Let's move on in and see if we can take this siege. We will get an imminent battle. Hopefully we're using the right tactics here. He is locked and trying to get away. He'll, 
There we go, there's the battle kicking off. We have them surrounded. And we have the Olympics. All right. Um, this guy is the, he wants to be ex, ex approximos. He doesn't hold a position in government. So it, either one of these guys can go. And I think I want to send the guy with the most military skill, uh, being athletic and all that other good stuff. Uh, we are going to send, let's see, friend of the party leader moves to Ellis and Sparta gets the release of Hippalos. I don't think we can ransom him or anything like that, so yeah, let's send old Hippopotamus. See what he can do. All right, we're both using the Phalanx. It's even Steven as far as that's concerned. We're gonna go ahead and wipe them out. That may actually help the others in war here. Um, they've got 4,000 broken. They can't do that. I know we have blockaded ports. It'd be nice if the refrigerator were to come and wipe out these pirates of the 10th Navy. But we're going to go ahead and start getting the siege. So we have Commander Impact for five Marshall. That's plus one siege status. And we have Siege Engineering. And that's all well and good. Since we are on this siege, oh nice. Octurius, the primary heir, has uh, recovered from his ailment, which is awesome. Yeah, these guys are like ready to, to join the siege. And um, we were here first, essentially. So. What do we have down here? Ordering the assault will cost us 20 military power base. All right, military access from Stemphamalia. What are you guys even involved in? You are at war with Aetolia, which is our next... No, actually, Aetolia is up there. Sure, you guys can do that. Seems to be fine. Yeah, these... uh. These Manates wanted this siege because they were at war with Megapolis. But since we are the siege leader, as long as we don't give up siege status, we'll be fine. Disagreement on the highest level, you say. He is the Epistrategos and head of the Propriate family. Uh, has recently started to spar furiously whilst attending the court. Such behavior is unbecoming of these people of stature. However, we have been called on to take a side. So we have our head of the Falarkriad family, the researcher, and we have the Epistrategos, head of the Pripyad family. Oh goody. So we can become friends with the researcher, getting him 10 loyalty and the Epistrategos loses 20 loyalty. That seems like the better way to go because if Lysimos loses 20 loyalty, he will become disloyal. So I think we are going to side with uh, Lysimos, the researcher, and old Theodokis will lose 20 loyalty. It seems like the, the sound way to do it. So negative 21 on the rolls. We got a good dice roll there with a 9. Um, that will be a plus seed status. So our engineering and our commander impact negates the fortifications. So thankfully we got the siege engineer. So we're breaking even. So the siege accumulations are what is going to be giving us the stuff. All right. The highlight was the skilled wrestling event. Uh, Menandros and Yuktamemon Hippostratos was the guy I think we released from prison. All right, Hippostratos scored a grievous blow, rendering him senseless for nearly a day. The victor was Yuktamemon. So he's the, the winner of the Olympics, but it looks like our guy uh, did some stuff. Better luck next time. We gained some popularity, and popularity is always good for a king. The Hellenistic power of Aetolia gives us a gift of 11 gold. Thank you, thank you. All right, military access from Manatea. No, we are going to decline that offer, good sir. We are going to take your war gold. Military access from Aegon. So you guys are way up north. Um... Not really much of a threat. We'll accept that offer. See if they uh, will agree to us here. So hopefully we can reinforce. We've got manpower 65 each month. And the uh, first Stratos of Eupiduros is hanging out in Sparta, making sure things don't go pear-shaped. Let's go ahead and play and get some more siege status here. We want to gobble this up as much as we can. The city itself, uh, I believe, nice water shortage there. We can't get a wall breach in times of old because we don't have any artillery. 
Ayatollah wants military access. We are going to decline, sir. So with this fort level being two, uh, we have a surplus of 2,000 troops essentially ready to siege this down. So hopefully we don't lose too much each month to attrition. And in fact, we reinforce just a little bit there. So that is all well and good. These guys are going to do their thing. Uh, these guys are going to bleed manpower as well, standing here doing a whole lot of nothing. Old uh, Manatea. Oh, let's see, that's Lepron Manatea, which is really our next goal in war, I would assume. Uh, we're either going to head over here or head over here. A daughter was born to the Basilius named Sophie. And I don't think that affects the Pretender. No, uh, we don't have Agnatic Cognatic. Uh, as far as our laws go. Now, if we had Agnatic Cognatic Primogeniture, uh, our daughter would supplant Hersimaic Zagred as a pretender. So, that's all well and good. Something that we can do. There is the Sack of Megalopolis. We don't really need the popularity. Let's see. Githron Second Chesus becomes loyal to the Basilius, but a free man is killed. Yeah, we don't need any citizens killed, so we'll gain the 5 popularity and the 30 gold. The siege is over. We can sue for peace and enforce our demands and take all of their monies, all 10 of it. And booyah! So the Megalopoly Elite, I think we have enough families here that we don't need to, um, to do. So we'll banish those of class and put the rest to the sword. We'll lose some aggressive expansion. And let's take a look at our new city here. Um, we're probably going to suffer some attrition if we don't get out of Sparta. And this city has six citizens and two free men. Oh, we have a storm out of, out of nowhere. So 14 gold or 1,000 manpower. Uh, we accumulate manpower at 67 each month. That's kind of a big deal. But we also lose money each month. We're starting to try to break even. We'll just lose 14 gold. It seems less than the 1,000 manpower overall. All right, so let's take a look at our technology. We're producing at 246% efficiency and uh, 1.36 monthly research bonus. And we can get another technology here. So Fort Defense up military traditions down 10%. That would save us 80. Triremes. I mean, I think we need to start looking at a fleet here um, to get rid of these pirates. I don't know if these pirates are, <clears throat> yeah, 25% sp spread on the city of Epiduros, Lemuria. I don't know impact on province loyalty. I don't see any modifiers that say, hey, because the pirates have a, what is this, a 25% blockade, we're losing something. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, holding triumph, governor policy costs, change. Uh, right now we are running what policy here? Um, let's take a look at the region, or the province map mode. So there's Laconia. We need to see the province itself. Do we have a province map mode? I figured it would be somewhere. Let's see, diplomatic rep. 100 oratory power to change our stance. We're going to be better off getting uh, fabricating claims with our oratory power. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So Megalopolis has Peloponnesian Hellenic citizens, which is all well and good, and Freeman Peloponnesian, Peloponnesian Hellenic slaves. Okay, so civic power. We can get the new invention. Popularity gain, the sacrifice cost for stability. Okay, so what is our sacrifice cost now? 268. And if we drop that 5%, not a whole, I mean, just a, a drop in the bucket. We don't have that many that's wrong culture. Fort defense. I believe if we are going to start getting declared war on, Fort Defense might not be too awful bad. See, the wrong culture, the slave output, the tribesmen. Let's just save. I think we're going to start banking a lot of military power. 
Although that would be more handy to take when we are closer to getting it. Let's do monthly loyalty. If we can stave off the monthly loyalty, that would be good. Then we just have to deal with these blockaded forts. Yeah, manpower grows at uh, 67 for each month. Once this monthly tick goes away, we will see um, the true treasury uh, losing 1.25. 1, 1 Invite to a defensive league with Ellis. So Ellis has an alliance with Boethia. You have a truce with Aetolia and Arcana. You are guaranteed by Macedonia. That's huge. So we aren't going to go to war with Ellis. In a defensive league with Epidauros, our ally, and Algion up north, this seems to be okay. And yeah, we'll accept that defensive league, make ourselves look a little bit more powerful uh, so that Ellis and Olympia with the, um, the statue of Zeus in there looking almighty, um, they're not going to get claimed on or at least attacked. So we're saving up oratory power for either Hydraia, which has a truce, military access, and a defensive league with Manatea and Azania. So if we go to war with one of those guys, we will be facing three countries. Very good opportunity for expansion if we can go bam, bam, bam and take three cities. An offer alliance of Ellis. I mean, we're in the defensive league and alliance with one of his defensive league members. We'll accept. That way, if we do go to war here, uh, Ellis may defend us. Or we can call them in and start getting uh, some more territory here. An alliance from Kaidonia. Where in the world is even Kaidonia at? I don't see anything on the map changing. Oh, you're down here in Crete. We're going to decline because we have no boats that can come to your aid and we're not going to be pulled in anything if you please yeah how much is a trireme we don't even have wood i don't think we could even build a trireme if we wanted to recruiting a cohort yeah we can no we can't <laughs> oh nice leprion gives us 11 gold yeah i don't we don't have wood so we can't build a trireme, which sucks. You know, it, it, uh, no, I, I doubt our allies could build ships for us. Military access from Leprion. Decline. No one is coming in here. Who, is, who are the great powers? We're the eighth great, eighth in score. That's pretty good. Algion, outraged. Algion has canceled the military access they have been given by us. Uh, that's fine. Military access is just military access. Really don't care. All right, so you are at war with Ellis and Boetha. I am surprised Ellis has not called us in. Which is uh, fascinating indeed. I don't know if they are going to. Leprion and Aetolia. Yeah, Ellis may get wrecked. And, I mean, we're part of the defensive league. We'll protect anyone against anyone outside the league. So, not seeing a call to arms is very interesting here. Yeah, canceling military access. That's fine. Don't really care. All right. Sweet. Let's see. We're running middle-of-the-road taxes. We don't want to take a hit on our research points, so that's fine. Commerce is okay. We have our extra trade route. That's fine. Keeping military on the default. We don't want to lose morale. And we don't want to increase their cost either. Forts are middle of the road. And wages, a 50% increase for loyalty? That's not too awful much. It's what, 0.4? Yeah. So we'll increase wages. See if we can take... Uh, any ideas that lower the wages cost but 50% increase in wages is not bad and that loyalty is going to be huge 
let's see, loyalty goes up, yeah, 0.13. The increased wages are really gonna make sure that these guys are fine. All right, no longer in our defensive league. Ellis, they decided that this league was not in their best of interests. Well, we are on tech three, national commerce income 2.5% and monthly wages for characters drops. That's all well and good. All right, requesting a trade route. They would like the surplus of wine. All right, so what does that surplus of wine do for us? Let's see, let's take a look at our trade overview. The surplus of wine is army maintenance cost and we need to float this as much as we can. We are going to decline the trade route. We want to keep our maintenance cost as low as we can. That is for sure. Uh, let's take a look at the economy and see exactly what, yeah, the wages, you know, uh, if it went down 1%, that would be okay. Uh, that, you know, that, that's, that's fine. What we need to do is get an extra trade route in here and get wood. That would be, that would be pretty good. Uh, we don't have the goal to build a fort and we would run into problems even if we did. Uh, fort level here is one, fort level here is one, and fort level here is one. I think we keep all of these forts ready to go, and then if we take land a little bit further up, we can, like, get rid of that fort and keep that fort on. Yeah, Ellis is doing okay. What is our situation here? The alliance with Ellis and Epiduro, so they're... Tri they're I thought the the league was disbanded. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to keep up with all of this stuff, but it's uh, it's interesting. All right, so our civic advance is advancing huge. Oratory, a Leonided. All right, if we take a look at the Leonided family, are they making enough here? No, if we fired that guy, they would become scorned. <sighs> I don't know if we can move him to another place in government. Let's see who has the most jobs here. The Park Farkalid family. Interesting. Oh, another thing. Fort defense, another 5% up. Tradition cost. We're at 400. We're slowly getting our way up to our first tradition. We don't need to take that just yet. Building cost, no. Citizen output. That would be really good. Triumph, opinion, popularity, yeah. The right to be heard, citizen output. There you go, some more citizen output, 5%. So that is research and efficiency and all that good stuff. If we look at technology, they should be putting out, yeah, from citizens, good stability. Nice, the omen power, 2.5% uh, better. And it should be almost time for our next omen. Either that or we just took, okay, 461. So next year, we will have the ability to get another omen. We're at 98% religiously unified. Military advances, tradition cost reduction, morale of navies and armies is huge. Let's find where our population is not Hellenic. Uh, because if we can do that right before the, the, the omen, we can get power. All right, so Hebrew, Hellenic. So Hellenic is fine. Yeah, I already looked at these guys. Where is a culture, Peloponnesian, Hellenic? Was it these guys that we have conquered over here? Peloponnesian, Hellenic on the culture. Six Hellenic Peloponnesians, two Hellenic Peloponnesians. Two Jewish Hebrews, here we go. So we need to convert the two Jewish for 40 points that we, we should get enough there. Hellenic, so that should be 100% religious unity. Two pops that are not Hellenic in Sparta, a population of 99 troops. So maybe on the monthly tick, it will refresh. Hopefully. 
No, 98%. Two pops that are Hellenic in Sparta. Two Hellenic Hebrews. Hellenic Hebrew, Hellenic Hebrew. Hellenic. Hellenic. We should have 100% religious unity, I would assume. Two pops that are not Hellenic in Sparta. Out of a population of 99 troops. But I don't see them. Everyone is Hellenic there. Religion's 100% in Sparta. Hellenic and Hellenic. I'm a little confused. Nice oratory advances. Civilization level goes up. We can bring down the new omen. So 1.64. We could push research. We could push manpower. Manpower actually wouldn't be too bad here. Uh, unrest is fine, population growth. We're not big enough to where population growth would even really be uh, much of a thing. Aggressive expansion. We're fine on aggressive expansion. That decays uh, pretty well. We don't get a whole lot of aggressive expansion taking one city at a time, so that's all well and good. The discipline would be fine if we were going to war. I think a 12% boost in manpower to get up to that 21,800 would be pretty good. Hopefully that is the monthly tick. Yes, indeed. All right, so nine points away from fabricating a claim, and our next question is, oh man, Ellis took that. All right, so if we went to here, there would be a defensive league. If we were to declare war, all three of their allies would join. And we're at the point where all three of them... Oh, and Ellis would even defend them. Okay, so it looks like you guys... If we declared war... And if we declared war, yeah, everyone would, would join. So this is a question of, do we find another ally on this island? A city-state and a local power. Yeah, we can't form with a city-state. And these guys... are in their defensive league. So 4,000. 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000. That is absolute nuts. And we definitely don't have enough money for mercs, that is for sure. So we've kind of got ourselves into a little bit of a pickle. So the question is, I mean, we're allied to these guys, but they're also in a defensive league. And they sort of kicked us out of it. So, we have an alliance with the probably the strongest member of this defensive league. And we've got a fort level one here. I don't think these guys would be able to siege it out. It almost needs to be something to where we can... Who are you? You've got an alliance with Arkenia, which is pretty big, and Ellis. We're kind of getting into the realm of the hug box territory here where no one wants to move. We could focus on Crete. They're already at war and they only have an alliance with Gortina, but we need the 12 triremes to bust through the pirates, first of all, and then get down here and start taking the islands piecemeal. So we need wood. We've already got three trade routes. We've got the surplus of grain. Uh, what exactly are we trading for? We are trading for the precious metals, which is citizen happiness, the iron, 
which is heavy infantry and the leather, which is light, which is cohort recruiting speed. I think if we give up the leather and import wood from somebody, we can start making boats. When we make boats, we trump the navy. When we trump the navy, we get claims on Kaidonia. And we start working here in Crete. Because if we get pushed out of Greece proper, um, you know, Laconia, I guess is our local region here. Um, and speaking of which, yeah, this is in a whole new area itself. This is not in Laconia. It's in Achaia. But it does look like we don't need a second governor. So it is in our capital province, which is interesting because our capital province is Laconia and Megapolis is not in Laconia. It's actually in Achaia. So I don't know if that's the game being weird or what. So I guess in the next episode, what we're going to do is cancel that trade route from uh, the, the leather or whatever that is recruiting the cohort speed. And um, what we can do is start fabricating a claim down south on Kaidonia, getting these pirates gone and getting a bit of a navy built up. But that will do it for me. And Imperator Rome, ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe. If you are so bold, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next Imperator Rome video. Take care.